So today I'm going to be showing you my skincare routine and the makeup products that I use. So uh, before I get started on that, I am going to be mentioning several products. And if I can find those on Amazon, then I will leave the, the link to those products in the description. And all you have to do is just click on that little blue link and it will take you to the product. And if you order it using my link, then I will receive a small commission from Amazon because I am an affiliate of theirs. So I hope you enjoy this. I've had tons of requests for it. And uh, it's not that hard and it's certainly not expensive. So stay tuned. Here we go into my uh, routine. Good morning, guys. Today's Wednesday, May the 29th. And I've had a lot of requests from y'all for my beauty routine. So that's what I'm going to be showing you today. So come along and um, I'll show you how I take care of my skin and I will show you the makeup that I wear. So the first thing that I do in the mornings is um, I open up one of these little Z-E-I-S-S -S lens cleaning wipes. I buy these at Walmart. Um, I don't remember how many are in the box. I think 50 or maybe 100 in the box. Um, it's about five dollars, but you know, if you if um if you use them every day, they last a pretty long time, and they don't um you know mess up with the film if you have like a coating on your lens to pre prevent the glare. They don't interfere with that, so they're very good. And um, now I can see you. I'm even going to clean my camera lens, <laughs> so it has more than one use. Okay, so then uh, I'm going to go ahead and put my spiking glue on my hair. And this is called um, Guide to Be. It's called Mesmerizing. <laughs> so this is how I spike my hair. And I usually get this little short haircut every summer. It's what I call wash and wear. So you just rub, you know, the spiking glue on your hands and just spike your hair however which way you want it to go. I like to um, apply it when my hair is still wet because it just seems to work better that way. And I want to thank Wanda for sending me this. She sent me uh, two jars of it. So it's going to last for a very long time. Thank you, Wanda. And y'all, please pray for her twin sister, Ronnie. She was just released from the hospital yesterday after having surgery, and she's in so much pain. And we just want to pray for her that God will ease her pain and help her body to heal. So that's uh, Wanda and Rhonda. They are twins. And I think I mentioned her before. Uh, her grandmother's, her grandmother was a twin, and her name was Hazel, and her twin sister's name was Maisel. <laughs> Isn't that adorable? So I'm going to clean all this sticky glue off my fingers, and then I just use a, a little comb, you know, to kind of spike it up a little bit, and just however... No big deal. I'm not picky about anything. So the first thing that I do for my skin care is I drink a lot of water. I don't even know how many times I fill this up every day. At least 10 times. Maybe more. I'm constantly uh, filling it up with ice and filtered water. Because you want to moisturize your skin from the inside. So you need to constantly have that moisture you know, the water in your body to moisturize your skin from the inside. So this is how I clean my face. Um, I wash it with just a bar of soap, or um, I have this Savino body wash. So whatever I wash my body with is what my face gets washed with. I'm not about to go spend a lot of money on um, lung comb or Estee Lauder or any of that kind of stuff. 
so I use this all May. It's an um. Now I can't see it without my glasses on. <laughs> it's eye makeup remover. I've just used it for a long time. It is expensive. I think it's about six dollars a bottle. And I always buy it whenever they have one and get one half price. But I'll, it does a really, really good job to remove all of the eyeliner and mascara. Now, I did use it last night. I always clean my face before I go to bed. So there's not going to be a lot on, on the tissue this morning. But that's what I do. You can use any kind that you want. Oil of Olay or L'Oreal or whatever. And then I use the uh, oil of Olay, the toner. And then this helps to remove the makeup that's left on my skin after I wash it. You just want to wet your cotton pad. And I buy these cotton pads at Walmart. They're very inexpensive. They last a long time, too. And then I just remove all of the makeup, you know, the foundation off of my face. I used to put it all down my neck, but I might put a little bit on my neck, but not a whole lot. So, you know, I get all down there, too, get all that off. And then I just kind of wait a minute. Look, you can see I do have some makeup left. So it does good, and yeah, it's a good thing to use it at nighttime and in the morning to make sure you get all that dirt off your face. Oh, feels so good and refreshing. Okay, and my main skincare product is the Oil of Olay. It's the daily uh, moisturizing lotion. And uh, it it's under $7 for a 4-ounce bottle. It just depends on where you purchase it. Um, sometimes you can find it on sale, and usually at least once a month there is a Procter & Gamble um, circular in the paper, and they will have coupons for it. So um, I do use the liquid one. Now I use, they, they make it a thick cream in a little jar, probably about four ounces, maybe less. And they have it with the, uh, the daytime moisturizer and the nighttime. And I use that probably for 30 years. But I got lazy in my old age and switched to just the cream. And it does just as good. So I use it twice a day after I clean my face at night. I put it on and just squirt a little bit in your hand and then I just start rubbing it on my face oh and it just feels so good you know to massage this in and everything oh and it smells so good I love all of those products I love anything made by Procter & Gamble <laughs> it's a great American company And, I mean, they have all of these, oh, just hundreds of other oil of Olay products now for your skin. They have the Seven Effects and um, Regenerous and Age Defying. <laughs> so whatever you prefer, it's, it's going to work for you no matter what. And I put it on my dark circles, put it on my crow's feet. And you just rub it on real good, and then you got to wait a minute, and you can just feel it soaking in. Your, your skin just drinks it all up. <laughs> and then I have another product. Um, I just started using this, only because I, I trust my friend uh, Susan. She has a channel called Beauty in the Know. And... Um, she gives a lot of great tips on, you know, different beauty products and makeup and everything. And uh, she uses the ones that are affordable, you know, that she either um, buys at the drugstore or Walmart or wherever. And uh, she does order off of Amazon, too. So if you like some of the products that she recommends, she will leave the link to Amazon. But this is one that she recommended, you know, 
I've been telling y'all that I'm worried about my neck. <laughs> it's just getting like this hole or something in it right here and so wrinkly and the only thing, you know, I've never really taken care of my neck. I've always just been focused on my face. But this is on Gold Bond Face and Neck Cream. Face, no, neck and chest, I'm sorry. I can't see without my glasses. <laughs> uh, chest and neck cream. And um, Susan said she was seriously thinking about getting neck surgery. And um, she started using this, and, and she said, you know, it worked. It really did work. Now, she did tell me that it takes a couple of months. Now, I did have to swallow my pride and splurge on this. It was $10. Um, I'm not 100% sure that I will continue to use it because it is expensive, um, you know, for me. But um, I'll see. If it really works, then I may, I may continue to use it. I really squirted out way too much, y'all. You don't need this much. I can't talk and do something at the same time. But anyway, you just uh, rub it all over your neck and your... What, how do you pronounce this down here? Decolletage. <laughs> okay, my, my friends, uh, subscribers and fans, tell me how to pronounce that. This part of your, a woman's chest. What I do, I like to rub up. I figure, well, you try to defy gravity as much as you possibly can. <laughs> oh, so I just rub up and rub it in, and then I just kind of go this way and try to get all that sagginess out of there. One thing I will never have, and that's surgery on my face or neck. <laughs> Okay, and then you can rub the rest of it in your hands. So now I'm going to apply my makeup. So the first thing that I use is, um, y'all, I can't even see the name brand of this, but I'm pretty sure it's CoverGirl. I usually use L'Oreal CoverGirl. Whatever is on sale. <laughs> and it's usually buy one and get one half price. Now, this is Rimmel, so I bought this um, cover cream, Rimmel. Uh, I remember Susan did tell me about this. It was, um, I think these were 60% off a couple of months ago at, the, at um, CVS. So I just, you know, cover up my um, dark circles under my eyes. I need to buy some cucumber and, and I'll lay, lay down with some cucumber slices. And y'all, this is a sunspot. Remember I told y'all I used to love to sunbathe. And one day I sunbathed for eight hours in, in the Louisiana sun like an idiot. And, um, and this is what I ended up with, this sunspot right there. So y'all make sure you protect your face. Always keep your face covered up and be very protective of your skin. You know, the sun is just getting hotter and hotter. So you have to really, really, really protect your skin. Okay, so there we go with that. And then I have the CoverGirl Aqua Smooth. Now this is a creamy foundation. Uh, Jill uses the CoverGirl Press Powder. But I don't like that. I, I like for mine to be creamy. Probably from the old uh, pancake makeup days in the 1960s. <laughs> oh. Y'all remember when we used to buy that old uh, Max Factor pancake makeup? And it comes with a little sponge, so um, you dampen it a little bit. And then you just rub it all over your face. And it does an excellent job, you know, covering up your flaws and everything. When I was younger, um, I think it was my sister Bobby started selling this makeup product called Beauty Control. Of course, she got me hooked on it because, you know, if, if you... If your sister or family member is selling some type of, um, you know, multi-marketing product you do want to buy it from them and help them out 
And, um, but it, it, Beauty Control, oh my gosh, it was an amazing product. And, um, and they had the creamy foundation, and I loved it. I just used the foundation mostly. I didn't buy mascara or anything like that. It was just too expensive. And I just put a little bit, just kind of blend it down on my, on my um, throat a little bit, not a lot. Then I just kind of take the tip of it and get a little bit on the tip, and then I cover up this dark darkness on the top of my eyes but anyway about the beauty control now I got in the habit of using it of course and once I use something and like it I just absolutely hate to change but then it just got after John and I started moving so much because of his jobs it got to the point I just could not find a distributor it was um so, like at home parties and by these distributors, uh, kind of like Tupperware. So, it was very difficult to find at times. Um, I did find my old uh, Cody Airspun Loose Powder at Walmart the other day. Uh, I just threw away my box that I've had for about 10 years. But I haven't opened this one yet because I have some loose powder that I've been using. But that is my favorite, that old Cody. <laughs> my box that I threw away was cardboard, and that one's plastic. I don't even know the name of this one, but I'm not too happy with it. Airs oh, it's not the Airspun. What I did, I, I put it in my old box. So I still have the bottom of my old cardboard box. Cody, I think this was Max Factor or something. Look how white it is. <laughs> I couldn't get the color that I wanted, and oh, just I do not like it, but I bought it and paid for it, and I'm going to use it. I'm not going to throw it away and waste it. And I just put a little bit on my face, and that just kind of dries up the moisture from the, um, the pancake. <laughs> and then my blush is, um... L'Oreal. This is my blush. I've used this for years and years. I can't tell if you can see it or not. But, um, it comes in this little gray compact. And this is the color that I use. I have to put my glasses on and see. Y'all that can see without glasses, thank the Lord every day for your eyesight because it's very inconvenient when you, you lose your sight. L'Oreal Feel Natural Light Softening Blush. Charmed Peach. I like this shade, so. I always apply too much blush. But that's okay. If somebody doesn't like it, they don't have to look at it. Okay, so there I go with a little blush. And then I just take whatever is left and just kind of go over whatever. Try to get rid of some of that white powder. Okay, so that's my blush, L'Oreal. And then, um, This is my eyeshadow, and um, also Susan over at Beauty in the Know told me about this eyeshadow palette, and it's by Rimmel, and this is called Magna Eyes Wow Edition, and I did purchase this when it was on sale for 60% off. <sighs> Let's see, what color should I wear today? <laughs> Oops, I dropped the brush. I don't know what color top I'm going to wear. So I'll just go with a, um, a taupe. It'll go with anything. So just going to put a little bit on here. So I'm using my cell phone as a makeup mirror. So I'll just put a little bit up here. Y'all, I'm going to have to turn around this way and look in the mirror.
Okay, this is a little darker than what I normally wear, but we're going to go with this today. It's beautiful. Do y'all remember that song by, um, sung by Joe, the great Joe Cocker, You Are So Beautiful to Me? I mean, I was listening to it on YouTube the other day, and I don't even think the entire song has more than 20 words in it, but, um, oh, it's so beautiful. I could just listen to it all day long. You are so beautiful to me. You are so beautiful to me. Can't you see? You're everything I hope for. You're everything I need. You are so beautiful to me. Isn't that a beautiful song in just those few little words? And you are beautiful to me. All of my subscribers who come back day after day and leave all of your sweet and loving comments. I appreciate you so much. So if nobody has told you how beautiful you are, just remember that Glenda thinks that you're so beautiful. And I love you. And you are beautiful. And you should be telling yourself that you're beautiful. We are all beautiful. So um, let me put my glasses on. <laughs> oh lordy okay so i bought this on sale too it's called uh brow this way and it was on sale that day it's by rimmel also brow this way i've never really taken much care of um there it is my eyebrows but now that they're mostly gray and I pluck most of them out because I don't like the gray. Then I've started uh, taking better care of them. But it has this, this part here that rolls out. So you color your, your eyebrows with that. And then it has this little brush on the end. So let me do my eyebrows now. I'm going to have to look in the mirror. One of my friends um, on YouTube, Ruthie D, she's Cuban, y'all, and she has the most gorgeous, she's just a beautiful woman, but she um, has gorgeous eyebrows. So y'all go over there and check out Ruthie D. She's a very devout Christian, and uh, you'll learn a lot from her, and you'll be blessed by watching her videos. Y'all, I think I'm going to have to get my magnifying glass. I can't see a darn thing. Oh, yeah. Okay, so there we go. Hardly have any left because I can't stand the gray ones. I'm always plucking them out. I really need to change my attitude, y'all, about gray. I need to accept... That I'm gray-headed and have gray eyebrows. There are a lot of women that spend all day plucking their eyebrows and then all night painting them back on. <laughs> I've never been one of those. Have any of y'all gotten those um, eyebrow tattoos? How does that work? Do they laser your eyebrows off your face and then tattoo, make a tattoo of them. Hmm. Just curious as to how that works. Okay. Now let me see what kind of eyeliner. I just buy whatever's on sale, but I do like the one that sharpens itself. I don't like having to deal with a pencil sharpener in my makeup bag. So this is CoverGirl. Now this is, um, black, but I'm, I'm going to change over the next time I buy one. It's going to be brown. So I think the older I get, with especially with the blonde hair, I need to go to a, a lighter color. Now I'm definitely going to have to look in the mirror to, to apply this eyeliner. <coughs> <coughs> oh, 
excuse me, better drink some more of my ice water. Okay. Oops. Y'all, I'm knocking everything down. <laughs> I had a fan sitting on the toilet. It's in the shower now. Got my mouth hanging open, y'all, while I'm putting on my eyeliner. I don't think I can put it on without my mouth hanging open. Now, on the bottom, I don't like going all the way across. I just kind of do it half, you know, on the outer edge here. Let's see. I don't think I can do it without looking in the mirror, but do any of y'all put it on the inside here? I've seen women do that before, and I've always wondered, you know, what is the difference of putting it on the inside of the eye on the outside? So I just put a little bit there on the ends, and then it's got this little spongy thing if you want to kind of blend it in or whatever. I don't usually spend time doing that. That's not important to me. And then my mascara, I just use the cheap um, Great Lash by Maybelline. Jill got me on this. I used to use L'Oreal and sometimes I still do. If it's on sale and I can get buy one and get one free or half price, that's what I'll use. So just apply a little bit of mascara and I'm going to switch to brown for this too because I think the black is just I just don't think it's suitable for a woman my age but I'm not going to throw away the black I'm definitely definitely going to use it up <laughs> So the next thing is my lip liner. Y'all told me to buy this to try to keep my lipstick from running. Let me get my little mirror and see if I can line my lips. It's too much magnified with my glasses. Oh, Lordy. When I worked at W.T. Grant's in 1971, the personnel manager, her name was Mrs. Smith. They didn't call them human resources back then. That just came <laughs> to be a popular term lately. But she would wear this, you know, bright red lipstick and she, it would just be smeared all over her lips and her mouth on her teeth and everywhere so funny oops I think I went over I'm gonna end up with Mrs. Smith lips and then y'all said to color in my lips Do y'all notice sometimes your lipstick has that old, like it's old smell? That's the way this smells, and I haven't had it long enough for it to be old. And then I use a L'Oreal lipstick. I just always have because it has a, this little end on it here. It's like a mirror, so you can apply your lipstick anywhere. You have your little mirror. So that's what I'm going to use. This is called um, Everbloom. And L'Oreal lipstick has never ever had that 
taste to it like it's old. That's why I, another reason that I use it. So, see, you can just look in this little mirror here and apply your lipstick. So there we go. <laughs> I'm all done. See how simple and easy and inexpensive? So let me see what I can do with this hair. Um, I use Rave hairspray. So once I kind of just um, toss it up a little bit. What did I do with my comb? I bought this little teasing brush. So I just kind of, you know, I like it spiked, so I do whatever I can to spike it. Yeah, so there we go. Just going to use this little teasing brush and spike it. And I want to look at the back of it and make sure it's not sticking up like a rooster's comb. Which reminds me of my friend Nana. Y'all go over there and support her. She and her husband, Steve, um, they just bought some Rhode Island red chickens. And, y'all, they are so adorable. And they have grown. They're only six weeks old. And those things are almost full grown now. They're huge. But Nana loves those chickens. Oh, she's just like a, a new mama. <laughs> And her, ch her channel name is The Life of Nana. She is so sweet. And she's the one that I told you all about that does the um, Friday Bible study. And um, she's doing it on women of the Bible. And I have learned so much about these women from the Bible. So y'all go check out my sweet friend Nana. So I think that's pretty spiky, don't you? <laughs> So, I think I'm going to make me some lunch and then go to the post office. And um, y'all just keep on coming back. Bye, guys.